Hey Pokemon fans, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. It has been a while since I've done one of these gameplay videos. Uh, you know, I've done a couple live stream tests uh, here and there the past couple months or so, but I just really want to get back on the habit of doing these daily gameplay matches again. But I want to do these a little bit differently. In the past, I've kind of been worried just about like time, how long the videos should be, how short the videos should be. And you know, from here, I just kind of want to let the videos, videos run for as long as I want to. I still kind of want to treat it like a live stream, but this just gives me a chance to talk so much more about the TCG meta, so much about things, ideas, and stuff I have going on and stuff. But you know, again, this is just kind of kind of be all all off script and just kind of all just kind of going for it. Um, in case you're brand new to my channel, I've been opening up one Pokemon booster pack every single day this year, basically every single day this year, except for January 1st, because I did technically start on January 2nd. And what I want to do with these videos, I really just want to try more different deck ideas. So in this video, we're going to be playing something. So um, I am working on a few different Lost Thunder decks and trying to get the pieces together um i already kind of know what one deck i want to make i know uh, actually i can probably show it here in the collection um personally i think the deck that's probably going to be the most viable in um uh, from Lost Thunder, I don't, I don't even think I probably have all the pieces for it yet. Uh, for it, uh, for it yet, I think uh, Jumpluff is honestly going to be one of the most viable cards in the meta, in both standard and expanded. Uh, it's very reminiscent, actually, of um, a deck from a couple years ago, uh, uh, a deck that is still very, very popular. Uh, any of the guys that have the Night March attack, uh, Joltik, uh, Joltik Lampant. Um, but this deck, you know, what, what was crazy about this deck, you know, already I'm kind of going off a tangent, but this deck, it, it kind of did the same thing. What Joltik did and what um uh what jump Pluff does now where it does 20 damage for each person who has the, um uh, a certain number a certain number of attack uh, uh points in in the discard pile for a joltik it was how many pokemon you have with the same knife march attack you do 20 more damage for each that have that have 20 damage but with jump plush jump pluff you don't really have to have that threshold so give or take you have to have pokemon go to the lost zone but that really quickly, when I was looking at this deck with a friend who made a very solid list with a Lost March, um, you can surpass the threshold of what you ever could do with Night March, which is crazy with Lost March. I think this is going to be such an amazing card. I love it that it's a low, eight, uh, um, you know, like I said, with every every deck, there's uh, checks and balances. Because like I said, HP, 70 HP in this current meta, that is not a lot. There are so many guys that can knock this out in one hit. But I think this is the guy to play. But right now, I actually don't have all the pieces. You actually see right here, I'm kind of working still on tracking down down a lot of the pieces myself um there is a league going on this weekend so uh this is just gonna kind of be a for fun weekend i don't expect to win or do that well so i'm going with a deck that i think is a little out of the meta it's definitely I, definitely not a tier one deck but while i try to get those pieces together because the uh the league cup i think it's league cup or league challenge or might be both going on this weekend uh, the deck that I'm I'm gonna be trying to uh, make work, like I said, just for fun. In no way do I think it it can withstand uh, the new the new current standard format. Is one guy I really really like because he's just one of my favorite Pokemon, and that's Empoleon. Uh, I bragged about this guy a little bit earlier this year. Uh, pretty straightforward attacker. I'm using the Steel type version because I think he can withstand more things. Even if I do run across into Jump Pluff, then I'm not getting hit for weakness and a lot of other things right now because he also has. Uh, this Empoleon has the water type uh, version. Uh, the water type version came out in Ultra Prism. The uh, steel type one came out in Forbidden Light. Um, but I'm just really trying something here. So we're going to go ahead and hop into a match. So basically, with this deck that I made, uh, I'm running a bunch of supporters, uh, some really key uh, supporters. I think I'm running three Cynthia, three Lily. Uh, I'm running four Lily in this list right now. Um, this is a pretty standard, uh, not not even a standard list. I don't even know if this deck is viable. Um, but just some other kind of uh, cool key pieces I threw in here. I was able to track down a Zeb Striker. Again, this is another card from uh, Lost Thunder, which is a pretty cool card. Once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards. Um, like I said, a couple other things, I'm not sure if they're necessary or I might change around. Um, Magnezone is just a nice thing to have because I can charge up, but the thing is, with this Empoleon, he's only a two energy attacker, and there's a couple things from Lost Thunder again that I'm actually really excited to try out. Counter gain could change that again. In certain situations, I could be attacking for one energy. Uh, one thing that I'm already noticing right now that I'm thinking about, I could, uh, I don't have any counter energy in here right now, which I think I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to add at least one or two in. Uh, Makargo's in here. 
right now so I can hopefully like manipulate my deck a little bit and have things go into my favor. But let's go ahead and jump into Imagina. Like I said, if anyone is watching this, I should I should give my decks better name. I kind of cleaned out a lot of my old standard decks, things I wasn't using anymore, so I can really start really start trying to maybe just uh, 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 throw out different deck ideas, have and just try to get videos out here and see if things work. If there's something, some decks might work, some decks might not work. So I'm just playing around with more ideas uh, than just, just kind of the, the same deck I've really been using the past couple months. Because with a lot of these videos, I basically, I basically have ran one of like four decks, basically even with the gameplay videos I did. So I just kind of want to uh, push my creativity a little bit with some of the decks. I have some other friends, uh, some other friends list. I want to ask if I could borrow them. Just some really fun decks. Uh, Again, other ones that are maybe not as good in the meta. Again, this is kind of this isn't a bad starting hand. Um, uh, not as a you know maybe not as popular, but like I said, it's always fun to make a good rogue deck. And tentatively, this deck might be what I'd be playing with if all my pieces for jump puff don't come in this weekend. I just want to have something I can play. But let's go ahead and break down what's going on in this match right now. We have a fantastic card here right now. Professor's um, Lecture is the new Cynthia in the new format. Search your up to three uh, Pokemon with 60 HP or left. Like I said, putting this card in here with this current list right now, I uh, actually determined which Piplup I wanted to use because there is a Piplup, but he had, uh, there is a different Piplup I was using, but that Piplup had 70 HP. So now I was I, I did decide to put in this guy instead. Um, like I said, I'm kind of really deciding what is the game plan to try to set uh, guys out. Um, like I said, there's certain things that he just doesn't go for uh, right there. There. I can't go for Slugma, but uh, I can kind of take a peek at what else is in here right now. But I was able to hit those Cynthia's, so we'll be able to get a new card next turn. Um, let's go ahead and see what happens. Uh, excuse me. Uh, let's grab, yeah, let's grab Magnemite. We could possibly evolve him next turn. We can attach an energy for turn. Um, yeah, like I said, that that professor's uh, professor's um lecture that really is the new Cynthia in standard in standard format. It could be a great card even in expanded format if you know you're not going to be using um, guys with a lot of HP. Let's go ahead and set out this Magnemite as well. So the game plan is tentatively try to get him evolved up. Uh, really, the big guy that has to get evolved up is Piplup and Tempoleon. And if I can get that happening, then I can get destroying. Uh, uh, there are things that are nice to have. If I can get Magnemite and Magnezone and I have to worry about evolving that's really nice as well let's go ahead we'll attach an energy actually to tapu lele this turn i think that could be more useful um even if i retreat i can get it back tentatively with this uh stadium car in mount cornet um like i said this was just something i just kind of threw together last night i'm trying to get a little bit of testing in because like i said the jump pluff deck i'm while i'm really really excited about i don't know if i'm gonna have all the pieces for that between now and this weekend so i just gotta make do with what cards i have like i said i may make youtube videos and have a lot of pokemon cards but even i um like I said, I'm nothing like some of the other bigger channels. You'll notice, like, I know when I watch some other uh, Pokemon YouTuber channels, they have all the full art cards. They use all reverse hollows. Me, I'm happy with what I got. I have a decent enough collection where I can track down the cards that I need. But it still does take me time to get all the pieces together. A couple other things I'm looking for right now. Uh, Alolan, uh, Alol Alolan Ninetales GX, the, the brand new one. Um, that's actually pretty cool. What do I want? Is that what I want to do? Um, let's see. I kind of want to hold on to those, uh, Cynthia. Um, I know we're going to play Mount Cornet. I think I'm going to play this Lele because it'd be nice to be able to just kind of draw into some more cards before I have to shuffle. Maybe grab a Lily first. Uh, just draw two more cards, see what happens. Um, uh, maybe next turn then we'll go for, um, we'll go for Cynthia. This will give me two turn, uh, a chance just to kind of get some more cards in my hand. I am tentatively 20, 40, 60. Can't knock, can't knock out that, uh, Slugma, but we'll see if this Lily opens up any opportunities. Um, nope, didn't really do anything. Um, we'll just pass the, pass the turn to my opponent. Um, like I said, other cards I've, I've, I've been a huge fan of since I, since I knew they were going to be, be a thing. Uh, this bad boy, this bad boy's coming out. Um, let's see. I can't hit for weakness because a water type boot. That's, un, that's unfortunate. And I got to actually take a look at what he does. I am pretty sure I know what he does. 50, this does it to 50 time for more. Ah! Discard any amount of basic energy from this Pokemon that's attack does 50 more damage for each card you discard this way. Phenomenal attack, phenomenal attack. Uh, let's see. So I'm not hitting, you know, something. Mm, nah, I would love to put in one of the water type Napoleon, but that still wouldn't really make a lot of sense. Um, so right now he can, he can probably, he'll probably knock out this Tapu Lele. 
Um, and then maybe I'm gonna make a couple changes to the deck here or there. He's gonna he probably put an energy at the top. Uh, crushing charge. So now, now we get to see this card in action. I tried to make a water type version with this deck, but it was just a little too slow, um, especially for anything I want to try this week. And like I said, these videos, these deck ideas, I just want to, I just get them out there. Um, so it's 50 damage for each. Any amount of energy, dang, that's a fantastic card. This is good. This card, this is a good deck right here. This Macargo deck will, will absolutely be um, a force to be reckoned with as well. And also, like I said, even though I was just bragging about the jump pluff a second ago, well, you're not really worrying about weakness, but even even some of these weaker guys, um, he's going for 180, only having to discard two. Uh, let's see, who do I want to go for next? Like I said, it'll be pretty tough for me to come back around at this point, but, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can do something. Um, there's not a lot I can do, but let's take our time. Let's see what happens. Uh, I can evolve into Magneton. That's something. That's something. That's cool. Uh, 20 damage. I can hit for 40 even. Okay, even if I just hit that, uh, hit this Macargo with the with the Piplup, I think I'm gonna do that this turn. Uh, if I have a chance to be able to attach some energy, if, uh, no, it's a water type. Like I said, uh, these are important things to pay attention because I was playing a different, with a different deck earlier. Um... So I think I'm just gonna try to just try to evolve this Pip-Up into Empoleon. I think that's the best thing, the best thing I can do right now to try to turn the tide of this battle around. Uh, if it goes one more turn, I, like I said, I'm not. Uh, I don't forfeit matches in real life, but especially if I'm if I'm just playing online or something, and I want to try out different deck ideas. Um, I was pretty adamant about that earlier this year, but like I said, I'll go one more turn in. But then I just kind of want to just like kind of have as much uh, time as possible to keep testing out matches, give my opponent my give my opponent this win and then we'll see if we can make any tweaks or stuff to this deck in between or just hop into another match because last night i really want to record it uh when i was playing against a sylveon gx deck which blaine with a steel type i forgot how nice it is to be able to beat sylveon easily if you have a steel type cards in your deck and like i said this deck right now is literally just because i really do love empoleon he uh Pitbull was my starter was my starter pokemon back in gen generation four Sinnoh region um like I said, I'm not crazy about this um, this list right now. Well, I understand the strategy with it, but it's not working the way that I want it to work right now. Um, I think really Macargo, seeing my opponent work Macargo is just something something more I should try to implement if I really do want to try this uh, this list this weekend. Um, so he'll, he'll get the knockout there, and we'll go ahead and move on to one more match, I think. We'll see if I can dig, uh, get into something a little bit more interesting. He's going for... He knows who to go for. He knows who to go for. He knows to go for that mag Magneton because he knows I can charge up these guys. That is a good guy to go for. Um, even at this point, there's not really any ways I can knock him out. There is an idea I thought of in this in this situation right now. Maybe, maybe if I know this guy's gonna be running around, I, I think I'm gonna do this. If I know there's gonna be fire type in the meta, I know what I'm gonna do. There is one change I'm gonna make. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe alter this change. Like I said, this might be a complete situational kind of thing, but this is just kind of, I wanna get in the head how when I take a look at something or as I proceed through wins and losses, what I do. There, there could be something cool I could do here. Um, there's the water type Empoleon. I could try to switch out one of them and put in the water type Empoleon and then throw in. So just so you can see, uh, let's go ahead. I'll actually type through this too so you can see this. Um, the water type Empoleon. I could put him in there. So in that match, I might have been able to hit for weakness instead. Throw in the water type Empoleon. Maybe throw in a counter energy or something like that. And then I would be able to hit him. Uh, even even a, special, even a special energy if I have counter gain or something. That might be something worth throwing in there. Maybe I don't want to use counter energy. Maybe I want to try to use a rainbow energy instead. That that might be a way to be able to try to knock out for that um, that type uh, type disadvantage, or if I want to be able to hit for weakness, hit for weakness there. Um, I don't think it's a bad list. Uh, like I said, we'll do one more match. Maybe we can find something a little bit more promising. Actually, let's make that change right now. I want to do this in real time. Uh, let's go down one there um, and put in. We'll go ahead and put in the water type Empoleon. No, I do, I do want to save these changes. Let's go back down. Uh, I copied the clipboard to the list. I have a. Uh, let's put in one one and water type Napoleon and we will put in a rainbow energy instead because if I could hit that for weakness that'd be fantastic so I gotta decide something I want to discard uh for my deck let's just do um like I said there's some things I'm not crazy about some things I've tested that I like that I don't like 
Um, let's go ahead and discard. Um, just for this purpose right now, let's go ahead and discard a timer ball. I might even do, I could even do one Mal Cornette, but like I said, there is no such thing as uh, the perfect list. Let's go ahead and give this a better name too while we're at it. Uh, try to be a little bit more consistent as I try to get out more deck ideas. And like I said, maybe uh, someone out there might be able to have the better idea out there that can make this deck actually maybe somehow good in the meta. Maybe make my, maybe make my dream of Empoleon good in the meta coming true. Uh, in this list over here, you actually see this one was a one more of a water fire type deck with Cargo GX. And I was trying to run some other things. I didn't like this list at, uh, at, at all. You can actually see, I, so I did win at least one match with this so far. Let's go ahead and see if we can do anything else with this Empoleon match. And then I will also show my deck that I did use at regionals a couple weeks ago. I actually haven't shown that off really in action in a while um i'm still happy with that list i'm very comfortable with that list that i made at regionals that was an expanded uh format uh, so that was a was a completely different deck than anything here uh but and then hopefully i just want to uh I just want to really get out a bunch more deck ideas like this. Just throw them out there. Because um, I'm always impressed when other uh, YouTube channels do that, like Dark Integral Gaming. Um, he makes really, really good Pokemon content and gets lists out super, super quickly. But then as, as I was trying to think about trying to do that same thing too, I realized I can do that. I have enough cards. I have enough things to trade up. And I just have a lot of different ideas to try. So I'm just trying to kind of go for it now. So I had to take the one mulligan. So, interesting. So I can hit the Tapu Lele still with an Ultra Ball. I can still hit the Tapu Lele, not bad at all. And we got a Timer Ball here. We get either of the heads. Um, not not bad at all. Let's go ahead, we will Ultra Ball. I think we're gonna discard Lady and Magneton because I can evolve with rare, VA Rare Candy still. Um, uh, like I said, there are some more essential pieces in here this time. And I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab a professor's elm right off the bat and like I said, we're playing and we are playing against a Lost Zone deck So I have no idea how well uh, this guy's gonna hold up against it if, if he's gonna be able to hold up against it at all um, Piplup, Piplup, Magnemite and um, Yeah, we'll do two Piplups I think and then I, if I get any of those timer balls again um, <laughs> two pip blubs, and we'll try. We'll try to get some things evolved. Hopefully, hopefully, I can hit something. And we wait and see. And hopefully, I, actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and play that timer ball now. Have two cards less in my deck. If I hit either of those heads, I do hit one of them. That's good news for me. Let's go ahead and grab. Um. It's one of my my other print plop is prize right now too. Like I said, there's just uh, those moments like this. Not really much you can do about it. Um, take as I was taking a look at that. So maybe this won't be something. Uh, maybe not this exactly. Heck, heck, I might try this deck out in person, and we'll just see what happens this weekend. Crazier things have happened. Um, so I know what they're doing. Like I said, we get we get you got to take a look at this deck in in action. It it works so fast. Uh, the only thing that I can count on right now is one. The only GX Pokemon I, I have in my deck right now is Tapu Lele, so you can hit that. Um, yeah, my opponent has a good deck. This is this is definitely this is going to be the most. Th these are bold words, bold words to say, but I think this is going to be the most popular deck in expanded, in, in in standard format. It just can hit super super fast. It's really consistent. Um, They've done a good job with the loss zone. He had to discard a jump fluff right away. I'd be very surprised. I'd be very surprised if somehow I'm able to win this match. I have to top deck something super, super good next turn. Not bad, but not good either. Um, let's go ahead and evolve. Like I said, he can hit for weakness pretty soon. Hopefully. I can just grab some more Pokemon. Uh, like I said, kind of things I already forgot. Uh, just to remember, as I was talking about earlier, um, I kind of uh, assumed that this Blitzel was going to have is like 60 HP or lower. So that's just something I got to think of already, that both Blitzel and uh, this Slugma can't be grabbed via uh, Professor's Elm. So it might be worth throwing in um, 
the the other guy the other supporter card that i was running in here that i think i will try because there are some guys that i need some bigger uh just some bigger um that has slightly more hp it might be worth it to throw in one or two apricorn makers just to grab any pokeball i want uh because that would solve this problem right now and we'll go ahead and hopefully hopefully i need to hit a supporter card or something next turn to reset this hand just a bit because the more turns that pass the, uh, the more turns that pass um he can charge up that hop it pretty quickly Not to another amazing, another amazing card. For one, so this is going to the lost zone. You know, floral to pass, so he's already switching out for going to the lost zone. And you see, you get to actually see this deck in action. You get to see me, uh, the floor mopped with me with this deck. So for one energy, this deck does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your lost zone. So he's already at 20, 40, 60, 80, 80, 100, 120. And now he just gets to keep stack. Now he just gets to keep adding more and more Pokemon from there from the lost zone. Basically the only thing I'm hoping for, I need to put in some counter energy. I need to put in a couple other things. I think I can make this deck work still. And I think it's just going to take a matter of time getting the pieces right like i said i already wish i would put apricorn maker in there in this match maybe we can do an update for tomorrow if somehow like i said right now this empoleon might be useful but i should have grabbed the steel type version that was also a mistake on my part as well uh 20 40 60 even even if i i don't have any dc in, in this deck anyways um we'll go ahead and see what happens i'll go ahead and try to play it out i finally hit a lily so that's that's something and i have to evolve him into into this Empoleon, which is anything far from ideal, but uh, let's go ahead. We'll we'll go ahead and make the most out of this Lily. We'll pal pad. We'll pal pad another. Uh, I actually really like Lady. Oh, I have to I have to do both, and we'll put these two supporter cards back in there. We will put down a Magnemite. We will throw down Lily and hopefully hit something. Something that can change this match. Not a whole. Not a whole. Oh. Hmm. So. Darn it, just a little too late, a little too hit late to hit some pieces. That would have been great um, a little bit ago. But um, 20, uh, so right now he's at 120, 120 hit points right now. That's pretty crazy. Um, again, so already, so th this is exactly what I do every time. So I'm already learning the strengths and weaknesses of this deck. So already, he's got one jump pluff there to his, uh, I'm sure he's got two, he's probably got at least two rescue stretchers, but him having, him having that one jump pluff in there, he's running, he's probably running a 4-4 four, four line, at least. I just, I don't think there's anything else I want to do this turn. Um, not for now, at least. So we'll pass. Because even if I get another energy card or anything, if Magnezone's here with the two Magnemite on my bench, I can still evolve the next turn. Like I said, this is nothing, nothing crazy or life changing is going to happen in this match. Um, if I can hit that energy next turn. So what the two biggest difference right now from standard format and expanded format. And eventually, I really want to just kind of get into the differences between uh, standard format and expanded format. And for anyone who's made it to this point in the video, you're absolutely crazy for watching probably what's going to be a 30-minute, 40-minute video. Um, Trumbeak, another card. Like I said, a lot of the cards I showed in the booster pack opening that just went up a couple hours ago were cards that are going to be the beginnings to make this deck. Um, what are we at? 20, 20, 40, 100, 120 right now. A uh, weakness, 140. No, not weakness. This is weakness, not that. Oh, this Empoleon's weakness. See, like I said, for some reason, I thought this Empoleon weakness was water. So now I'm thinking already. Huh. For some reason, like I said, that's why it's really important to play around. Because now I'm thinking about going back to the water deck. Like I said, this is how this is how I play Pokemon. Um, just trying out just any, any and all ideas until you find something that works. Um... So I hit, if I hit an energy or something, I could, no, nah, I don't know if I can knock him out. We'll see what happens. Ultra Ball, does that help me? Tapu Lele, grab a Tapu Lele. Let's go ahead and evolve this little bad boy. That's who I want to evolve. Absolutely, that's who I want to evolve. Uh, I'm not crazy about discarding either of those pieces. 
um, that being the energy, but maybe I won't discard Zebra Strike quite yet. Maybe I will discard, I hate having discard, who do I have in there? I already have two Piplops in there. I have a Rescue Stretcher, hypothetically, somewhere in there. I don't know if those are the right pieces to discard or not. And my other Tapu Lele is prized. This isn't bad. We're gonna grab Blitzel. We're gonna grab Blitzel. We're gonna hang in there until, until the bitter end. Um, it's something. I can draw more cards next turn. Um, let's see, 20, how much How much damage does that do? A hundred, a hundred, uh, a hundred, hundred and twenty right now is what it's at right now with Lost March. We'll see what happens. If he didn't have a way to charge up, so what? What's crazy about Jumplop? The difference. I said this at the beginning of the video, and this is the deck that, if when standard format comes around later to run, this is the deck that I will probably be running because I want to try to do good at regional events and other things that I'll be traveling to. Um, uh, Night March was Night March was the closest thing we had to a deck similar to this to this in recent years, where it involves something in your discard pile. This is the Lost Zone, but even even Night March Night March had a cap for how much you could put in um, uh, how much you could put into the discard pile because it was all based around guys. I had the Night March attack. You did 20 more damage for each Pokemon that had, had that attack in your discard pile. So no matter what you you reach a certain threshold where. Even if you had a choice ban, even if you had um, could hit for weakness, there was a certain threshold. It could only end up doing so much damage. This deck doesn't have that. If you're able to keep recycling the pieces out, um, what does he have right now? He's at 180. That's that's going to be knocking out. Um, if you have choice ban or anything out, that's going to be knocking out your buzzwolves. That's going to be knocking out um, my deck right now. And we're going to do one more match just to build my uh, confidence back up just a little bit. We are going to... Uh, First, we're gonna attach this energy uh, here. We're gonna use Blitzel, hopefully. Oh, I, I like this ability. This is actually the first time I've used this ability in action. Um, I don't think it's gonna really help much at this point. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do one more thing. Like I said, this deck is a work in progress. Uh, it uh, might be something I run this week, it might not. I might try something else. But like I said, it, it's literally just cause I like I'm pulling out. Let's go ahead and switch one more time around. We're gonna switch to the deck that I played with at regionals a couple weeks ago. This is a deck, uh, I haven't made any changes to it so far for the uh, current format, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it at then. It's your pretty standard. Your standard Zork, uh, Zork Skyfield deck. Uh, you you try to set up Zork. You try to set up Skyfield. You have eggs for your unlimited amount of draws. And we'll go ahead and take a peek at this at, at the end to the full list of it. Um, like I said, these videos I'm gonna try to like I'm gonna try to timestamp them. I think I think you can do that with YouTube videos still, or at least tell where the marking is in each video where um, where I start talking about new things. So like I said, I was happy to be able to talk about. Um, like I said, it was a deck idea. I just wanted to try out. I just want to try to get together. Um, uh, those past two matches told me a lot about it. Um, I definitely want to have an Apricorn maker in there. Um, Especially to try, if I could get that Blitzel out there a little bit sooner, that would have been nice. But let's go ahead and focus for this last part of this video. Let's focus on this deck. Um, this deck, honestly, the actual regional event, I had a pretty rough day. Um, I ended up going like, I think it was like two, four, three, which is absolutely not a good score by any means. Um, but on the second day, so after the main regional event, the second day, there was another event. Uh, they had, it was a fantastic regional event. The hosts in, in the Portland area for the Pokemon regionals are absolutely killer. Um, so the second day, for anyone else who still want to play some Pokemon or maybe earn some points, um, they had a second day uh, regional, regional, uh, 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 a re uh, not regional cup. They had a, a league cup. So that day, I went five and two. So literally, sometimes it just depends on the day. It depends on the list. It depends just on so many things. Type matchup. Um, and I want to talk about expanded format too, just because it was so much fun. Uh, it was just, a, it was just such a fun weekend. Like I said, not much I can do about these early, uh, prize knockouts if I'm playing against good old, good old Buzzy right here. Um, so a couple things have to happen this turn. Let's go ahead and see if I can try to stack some things into my favor. Uh, there are, there are, there are a couple things. I don't know if I want to discard two VS Seekers, but I kind of, um... I kind of want to hold on to those Ultra Ball more. So what we're going to do, we are going to evolve. I can't believe I'm discarding two VS Seekers. I'm going to, I'm going to regret that. Uh, probably. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab Macargo. 
Uh, hopefully I can try to knock out this buzz this turn. That'll be pretty tough. Uh, floatstone here, floatstone there. Uh, we'll get the first piece of the puzzle. Let's go ahead and just grab Skyfield or a double DC. I don't know which one yet. One of my Skyfields is prized right now. Um, there's a couple things we have to grab. Let's go ahead and grab a, a sp special energy. We're going to hit that via with the Shaman right here. All right now, so we'll at least be able to do some damage on this little buzzwell right here. And then hopefully hit uh, Cynthia, whatever else I might try, might need. That comes in handy, that red card. Uh, let's go ahead, evolve, evolve this buzzwell. We'll get a couple more draws in, uh, in via this way. We'll go ahead, discard Guzma, because I have at least two VS Seekers somewhere in here. Uh, one more, can I hit it? Let's go ahead and discard the black and white Zork. And then I'm gonna hit my opponent with the red card. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we'll do this. If somehow with uh, <laughs> with the Cynthia I hit three Pokemon and a Skyfield, I will be uh, oh, will absolutely feel blower uh, uh, feel blower that um, Muscle Band as well or Fighting Fury Belt uh, rather say. Um, if somehow I'm able to hit everything I need in this turn, then I gotta go buy a lottery ticket tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, that's not bad. That's that's not great, but um, I know I was in the train. Uh, I was thinking of one other thought as well. You know, it's the end of the day. I'm just gonna try to go for it. You know, I have I have one other thing in there. I could try if I really want to. If my other shaman is in prize, we could try to still hit the sky field, and then I might be able to get the knockout in. Um, uh, I've seen a lot of people run this with uh, more shaman. Uh, no sky field. Uh, but we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and do 120 damage. That's still a respectable number. Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can do here right now. Uh, and you can do a lot of things this turn. You can do a lot of things. Knock out this Zork right here. So if this video wins, you'll get to see me uh, lose three matches in a row. <laughs> um, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm I, I really am in this game just for fun. If 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 I'm able to do, ever do good, make it in day two regionals then that'll be a win in my book. It's gonna be a long road if I wanna really try to make it to um, going straight for Sledgehammer already for weakness, nothing else in here. Apparently I haven't backed up my computer in 52 days. Uh, let's go ahead, let's knock out one of the, now we might be able to do something. I was actually shocked, victory right there. Not, not I wanted I wanted him to go ahead and play, but maybe he had a bad hand. Maybe I red carded him really, uh, really hard. I don't know where my opponent, um, was going with his hand but yeah this is how i wanted to do these videos i'm really happy with this one i don't even have any more booster packs or anything right now i should have thought about that before uh do i have any booster packs or anything i can open up i think everything's nope i got a couple booster packs well this i will try to close out each one of these videos we'll just open a couple online booster packs so yeah so this is how i want to do these videos uh in the past i have just kind of always worried about them being too long or too short or whatever but if i keep them this way uh then i can just kind of talk about however whatever i want to uh just kind of get my thoughts out i'm gonna maybe try tomorrow maybe i'll go back to that napoleon deck maybe i'll have another expand deck ready between now and then maybe i'll have my lost march deck ready um how many deck I, there's like there's like three or four decks i'm currently working on just like lists on and stuff right now uh nothing crazy there um and you know this is it's nice to do it in this way because uh the live streams have been super super fun um but i was surprised by how much time they take just like i like to try to have the background music going i like to try to have, make sure the wi-fi and the connection and everything is stable and that actually took a took each time a lot of time to figure out before just hitting the live stream button and just kind of kind of trying to hope it went well and a couple times there were some hiccups and stuff so I hope to do these videos just as a way for me to ramble on about the Pokemon trading card game. Um, maybe I can push tomorrow to try to have another uh, standard deck maybe every couple days. Hey, we hit some. We got a Dialga uh, GX right there, so that YouTuber luck is paying off. I think that's everything I want to talk about. Uh, I, I think I did say I would show the list one more time, uh, the, what I did bring with me to regionals. This, uh, this list right here is indeed what I brought to a really big Pokemon event. I've done good with this list. I'm really happy with its consistency. It's nothing It's nothing really too crazy, nothing really super original. 
either. Um, but yeah, I'm happy with it. I gotta decide. I gotta decide really soon what I want to bring uh, to an expanded event next month in uh, next month in California, and then tentatively one more expanded event, and then I probably won't be playing expanded much after that, and really focus on standard format. The fellow trainers, I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Thank you so much for letting me ramble on about this. If you made it at this point in the video, or even if you just clicked around, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna try to do these again daily, like I used to a couple months ago. Um, and I will see you tomorrow. As always, I upload new uh, Pokemon content every single day on this channel. I'm really going to strive to strike out more content as well. Bell trainers, I will see you tomorrow as always.